Hello, everyone. Good morning. This is Jessica of Mileside Marketing Department. Welcome to this new webinar. We will explore what's new in this new version. I mean, Mileside IoT Cloud version two, and see some highlight features. As you know, Mileside, we have started the development of Mileside IoT Cloud. The application server since the May 2019, and we have experienced three important stages from the initial version with basic features only. Then we upgraded for data presentation through the customer image, through the multiple dashboards, and developed the regular reports by daily, weekly, monthly in order to better meet the standards of license charging. So after almost a year and a half, we have started a, rev a revolution, a revolution to enhance the way users interact and experience, and we are going, we are giving the utmost priority to users' experience design. So this time we have made the significant. Uh, significant changes and jumped to the version two. It has a combination of a lot of enhanced user interface, or we call UI and user experience, or we call UX. We have five new updates for you in the latest version, mainly focus on upgrading the,、uh, or improving the user experience this time. No matter from the PC or from the mobile device. Well,、uh, once you log in, you will find all new user interface and four main enhancements on existing function functions, and we will talk about them in more depth later. The new Mileside IoT Cloud version two provides a all new user user interface based on the professional card UI and end design. So what we have done at first is the back end. And compared to the previous traditional UI design, a simple but intuitive advantage of card UI is it provides a more personalized user experience. The entire interface becomes more clear, more balanced, pleasing, simple with user, with very good usability. And we have also optimized the scheme and algorithm based on the international end design, so you can enjoy much faster interaction speed on the new UI. And we are more capable to meet customization requirements in a short period of time. For instance, if you want us to OEM or ODM the cloud platform, if you want us to change the brand name, or to Add another language or change the colors. Well, I think our team can make you happy right now. This change aim aims to improve the navigation efficiency by reorganizing navigation bar structure. You know, navigation bar it offer offers an extensive set of capabilities, and sometimes. The capabilities force the users to drill into a certain area, navigate back out, and go to the dashboard, search and drill, and go somewhere somewhere else. You know, after that, customers get tired, not anymore. Now we have integrated the three functions in one part. Here you can find the previous menu of my devices, gateway and device. Device groups, they are becoming a organic, a organic element,、mm, a complete element. So customers can easily navigate, find what they are working quickly, and finish the sensor configuration, gateway configuration, and grouping the devices according to their scenarios from the same portal. And we have refined the action of grouping to make it easier, and also make secure for customers. According to the logic, you can take use of the tabs to group in the sensors and gateways as your own wish. For example, if you want to、um, group the devices according to meeting room one, meeting room two, 
Of course, you can create maximum up to meeting room twenty, so you can get maximum twenty tabs here. And also on the same page, you can monitor the current status, the current value of sensors or the sensor node that against your threshold settings. For example, this increase icon、um, tell you clearly that the humidity, the humidity value is much higher than your cer- certain threshold than your previous settings. So you need to take care of that. And on the previ- previous old versions, old versions, customers frequently asked our technical support, "Where can I get the historical data of devices?" This useful feature was almost hidden in a corner, but now you can easily check, no matter review or download it as a CSV format. Here you can easily find these entries through clicking this sensible icon. And finally, how can I know the Lord One signal strength? I think he's a very professional question. Usually, customers need proficiency to understand it. Now, based on our algorithm, customers can easily understand the exact Lord One signal strength through this indicator icon, without any professional knowledge or using additional testing equipment. For how we divide the signal levels from the level one to level to level four, well, you can get it from the user manual on our website. And in this new version, we have added some new labels, so users have greater flexibility in filtering abnormal units and in controlling the sensors sensor node that attached to every gateway. And new filter labels appear in the upper middle of your screen and indicate a device status, such as normal, alarm, offline, or inactive. And three indicators to tell you whether the sensor or sensor node is joining or not joining, or failed to join the Lord One network. So here you can find. The status, the Lord One network status,、um, of each sensors or sensor node, and you users、um, will have greater flexibility in the operation procedure. You know, on old versions, you need to add sensors into the gateway and power on the sensors, and wait until sensors. Join the Lord One network successfully, and finally you are able to configure them. But now you can finish all the configurations in the office, and then deploy the sensors in the field at any place you want, and power on the sensors finally. So it means you can settle down everything inside the office, and logging or power on the sensors and logging to the Lord One network finally. And also, you can find some other optimizations,、uh, optimizations on the sharing center and the dashboard parts. If you are not sure what sensors, what what type of sensors, or how many units that you have shared with a person with a third party, then you can get a brief look at the window here before sharing or transferring operations. And if you made mistake. Mm, for the transfer, well, that there's a cancel button here to collect that mistake very quickly. So calm down is nothing big, and you can relocate the dashboards. You can change their orders, but on old versions,、um, their positions of dashboard were fixed. I think it's not a big. Big deal. I mean, it's not a big improvement, but I think、um, it's very important for the user experience. And besides,、um, we have also optimized the widgets. So now you can see maximum eight widgets side by side on the same line. It means more information can be displayed here, so customers can check、uh, the old information. In this dashboard, more conveniently. 
Okay, so if you have any uh, interest, welcome to contact us for the free trial because uh, we can provide you the free version. Uh, you can create your own account and test it if you have mouse side uh, low one devices on hand. Okay, so please do not hesitate to contact your um, technical support or contact with your sales account with the free trial. Okay, my friends, that's all we have. Very general introduction about the mouse side IoT cloud version, version two, and hopefully. Everything is clear now, and also hope you can make them a free trial in order to build up your own Lolo One network, your own private Lolo One network, very quickly. So thanks, thanks very much for staying with me until the end of the presentation. Well, see you next time. Bye bye.